Time 7.30. Congratulations for uh, those of you who are on the line, taking time from your busy schedule. We're glad you're with us. Uh, we do these calls a couple times a day through the week so that uh, we can really give you guys a hand of kind of spreading the word on LifeWay, where we're going as a company, as a team, and to uh, really short share the dynamics of this business driven by, as it should be, by the product. And what I want to do is to kind of give you some bullet points that I think are very important if you're looking at an opportunity to generate a secondary income stream or you want to maybe even replace the J-O-B. And this is real, folks. There's no doubt about it. We've got a tremendous history behind it, a great, great management core, which is so important. But one of the things that's so unusual is that we have a product and a product line that is really creating a whole new industry. And I know that's a pretty aggressive statement, but I want to give you the dynamics that really back it up. The company was founded by a scientist by the name of David Schmidt, a very, very bright guy. He's the CEO, he's the, the president, the owner. And it's very unusual when you've got the patent holder and the scientist also owning and running the company. Many times marketing companies will buy products or it'll be manufactured through another, another entity. Not the case with LifeWave. Our president is also the past holder of this product. And a very bright guy as a scientist, he was commissioned by the Navy about four years ago to do, to do some work with other, other scientists and naval engineers on the nuclear submarines, primarily focused on backup emergency energy and oxygen systems for the big nuclear subs, and then also the small mini-subs that they use for deploying the Navy SEALs. It's a 60-foot, four-man sub. Well, in David's proximity, as a scientist working with the Navy SEALs, uh, he was fascinated with the idea of developing an energy source for human beings that would provide strength, stamina, endurance, allow people to operate at peak performance, but with no drugs, no chemicals, no stimulants, nothing going in the body. It never been done before. Think about it. If we want some sort of an energy lift, we turn to a soda or we turn to a Starbucks or we turn to a sugar-laced Gatorade or double-laced caffeine Red Bull, all stimulants, synthetics, chemicals, drugs. Well, David's notion as a scientist was to develop a product where nothing would go in the body, nothing into the bloodstream. And what he developed is a little patch. It's like a little small round band-aid, but it's non-transdermal. Now, in all honesty, when I was first introduced to this, it took me a minute to get my mind around that idea because like you and the line, when I had thought of a patch, it was the smoking patch, the birth control patch, the diet patch. Those are transdermal. Those are actually time-releasing drugs in your body. So it took you know, me a minute to understand that nothing leaves this energy patch. No drugs, no chemicals. But basically, it's like software, and it simply tells your body to burn fat to energy. I say simply, but it leverages on the nanotechnology, and it was patented by, by uh, David Schmidt, and it worked immediately. So from there, David went into two years of double-blind placebo studies so that he could run the clinicals and just make sure that it, in fact, uh, worked at a much larger population. And he worked with over 250 athletes, brand-name universities. He worked with different um, occupations from bus drivers, cab drivers. And over those two years, the results were overwhelming. And an average of 38 to 40% increase immediately in strength and stamina. So obviously he knew that he had something that was very special and it was patented. Or actually it flies under a patent pending status, which is even better because you don't have to reveal the ingredients and you can renew it and carry it for over 17 years. That's why you'll see a lot of products patent pending because it, you don't have to reveal all the ingredients as you do with a registered patent. Well, what amazed me when I first saw this, because I, like some of you on the line, I was skeptical. I mean, my gosh, how can this thing send a signal to tell your body to burn fat to energy? But what, um, what kind of, uh, I guess, demanded that I get out of my own way and just kind of watch what was happening is the fact that a lot of the athletes that were involved in the clinical studies went right straight away on the product. They actually drove to David's office to get product. For instance, Stanford, the entire Stanford swimming team, the women's team, coached by Richard Quick, they've been on the product for over a year and a half. Uh, many of uh, the Olympic uh, athletes that swam wore the patches right in the pool. And if you go on the website, you'll see more brand names from members of the Dallas Cowboys, uh, Kenyon Coleman, Jay Salty, who's retired from the Cowboys, Roy Williams, 
a Joe Lamalure, an All-Pro. In fact, he was just inducted in the NFL Hall of Fame. He was an All-Pro for six years in Buffalo Bills. So, uh, AJ Foyt Racing Team, over 100 tour golfers. The list goes on and on and on. Now, not just to you know throw names that impress you, but in all honesty, I was skeptical because I'm not you know, pretty conservative. But I'm thinking, my gosh, when you've got all of these folks that they're at the top of their game, they're world-class performance, plus a lot of other people from Sandlot soccer players and airline pilots. So I tried the product. I had an amazing results on it. That was 11 months ago, and I've been on them ever since. So there's no question that not only they work, but that they're really, if anything, they're flying right in the face of a $10 billion drug-induced industry, which I'll tell you, it's, it's, it's under the magnifying glass, because a lot of you, I'm sure, have seen there's congressional investigations of steroid use in Major League Baseball, now they've moved into football, because the concern is that these steroids are reaching all the way down into the Little League and young gals, because, you know, it's a performance enhancer, but these are very, very dangerous substances, and there's a lot of concern. When you, when you take a look at the patch, because whenever anybody had wanted a performance enhancer, it was drug, chemical, induced. Not anymore with a patch. So they say this is a whole new industry that even if we get a portion of that $10 billion, well, you couldn't spend all the money. Plus, it's patented, which means it's not going to show up at the GMC stores or the grocery stores or another networking company. So over time, you can see how valuable your distributorship will be. You just stay steady, work the business in four or five years, your distributorship will be extremely valuable because it's the only place that people can get the product. And as your group grows and begins to network internationally, well, they can't go and buy like you can any kind of a nutritional or a telecom product or so many products that are offered traditionally through networking. Not the case. We have exclusivity. Then you take a look at price point. This product, folks, is cheaper than a cup of coffee on a use basis. I was talking to a fellow doing a, um, a refi, and um, he's a mortgage loan broker. And I was telling him about the product. Actually, I had to submit my, my earnings, and he saw, you know, making 30000 40000 a month. And he said, what are you doing? So obviously I had to tell him about the patch. He said, Chuck, I spend 8 to $10 a day on energy drinks, black coffee, and soda. He said, you're on to something. I said, yeah, Vince, I think we are. So he's now in the, in the uh, he came in as a distributor, and again, I just shared what we have. And he knew he was spending that kind of money. People do a couple of sodas. So we've got, we've got significant price point when you realize that the patches are less than a cup of coffee a day on a use basis because they're good for two days. You wear them a day and leave them off, and there's some carryover. Then the other thing that's very important is they're consumable, which means you can have just 10 customers. But as they order and reorder and consume and reorder, you've got a nice steady income. Now, if you've got 100 customers or 1,000 customers, you can see how important consumption is because the big money and the passive residual, meaning that the check that comes from reorder, is no new selling. And you can collect that check from Hawaii or Aspen or the south of France, right? Because people are just reordering right from the company and you get paid. So the consumption is critical. Then you couple that with a hot marketing plan, and I'm telling you, all the dynamics are here. And just to tell you so that you, know, you have a feeling of what we have our arms around, the website actually went live mid-November, so that's roughly six, seven months um, ago. And over that period of time, we're up to about 14,000 distributors. They're doing a million a month in volume. 2005. People earning in excess of $13,000 a month in that short period of time. So this is real. And those of you on the line, if you just stay steady, use these calls, use your upline, and we'll give you some real tips to get your business up and running quickly. But as I say, the value of your distributorship over time is going to be huge because not only do we have this product, but others that are followed, that will follow also patent it. Very important. But I want to reach out. I know, Bill, if you're still on the line from Reset, you've got a very interesting testimonial. And, Presentation uh, mode is now disabled. Maybe, Bill, if you're on the line, maybe you can share that testimonial. Yes, I can. Uh, great, Chuck. Uh, uh, to let you know, I have a, if you're aware, I have a Sprint Aerodyne bicycle. And I've had one for, uh, like from the very beginning, and I wore it out. But I, I moved and I got a, a new one I've been riding. And uh, before the patches, I could get just a little over eight miles.
miles uh, in 40 minutes. Now I put the patches on and I am now going about 9.4 miles in 40 minutes. Uh, now the thing, the thing, and, and the thing about, about it is I have to go down one flight of stairs and when I first started going down that flight of stairs and coming back up, I was out of breath. Now I, I can walk up those stairs and, and I'm not breathing heavy anymore. And I'd like to say that, uh, like I say, I've been doing this uh, now for, uh, for quite some time. I've been a, a, a lightweight person for about six weeks now. And I'd like to say that next year I will be 80 years old. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> They said earlier oh, yeah, that bike is going to end up in the Smithsonian, in Smithsonian well, Institute. Well, I'd like to say one other thing. You know, we're talking about nanotechnology. Yeah. Uh, you know, UC of uh, Merced, University of California of Merced is opening up this fall. Mm -hmm. And they were just awarded a $12 million grant to study nanotechnology. I'll be darned. Well, there's no question that it is the future. Everything is leveraging off of nanotechnology from pharmaceuticals, to cosmetics, to glues, to computers, and it's basically reducing every element down to the individual atom, which can be manipulated, which will grow a whole new chart of basic uh, elements. There's no doubt about it. Plus, it means miniaturization, and that's what David has done with his patch, leveraging off of nanotechnology. Thanks so much, Bill, for that. Well, well one thing I could add to that story sure. is that uh, before I do the 40 minutes, I was tired. And right now, I could I could go another 40 minutes on a bicycle with no, with no problem at all. <laughs> That's not great. That's great. You know, Presentation uh, mode is now enabled. It's interesting because uh, I had taken a little break here a couple of weeks ago. I went to Hawaii with some golfing buddies that I played with for a lot of years. And we just, just the guys go, we play six straight days. We play 36 holes, three straight days. And uh, one of my friends, he's a dentist, and he used, has been using the patches all through his uh, dental practice. It's a pretty good size. He's got four or five dentists, plus they have high, dental hygienists and a couple of children's dentists. So it's a pretty uh, hefty practice. And uh, we both agree, 36 holes a day, every day. And, and we said, you know, without the patches, we would not have made it because you're in the heat, which we're not quite used to. It's just that kind of the intensity of golf. So, yeah, I'll tell you, it's just an amazing experience, and it's something that you just have to try. And that's really what makes the business go, is that you can you can uh, start the business for a startup cost, which is almost laughable, anywhere from 100 bucks to $500, really depending upon how much product you want to work with. But let me walk you through that business side and how you get paid, because that's really why we're here. There's no doubt that we have something special, uh, developing a whole new industry with a product that people are very curious about, and that's one of the reasons that we're growing. People are willing to try it. No drugs, no chemicals, nothing in the system. Especially when you look at my mortgage banking friend who spends eight to ten bucks a day on energy drinks that he knows are not good for him. So he's delighted to switch the patches. But here's what happens. You can make some money selling the patches if you're a, 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 a chiropractor, a, a clinician, a trainer, or maybe you're just a fireman. You make a little money, but by developing a network of other salespeople, you get wealthy. And J. Paul Getty said it best. He said, you know, I'd rather have 1% of 100 other people's efforts than 100% of my own. Now think about that. What if you get sick? So is your income. It gets very sick. And what if you want to go on vacation? There's no one out there working for you. Or what if you're just sick and tired of working that thing? So the point is that when it's you against the world, you have no leverage. And that's what happens in the J-O-B. It's you, you know, kind of dancing on the strength of the boss. Or if you want to start a business and it's a sandwich shop, you have no leverage. All you have are employees and headaches. Not the case with networking and the way you can grow and in all honesty, you know, I have a corporate background. I was 10 years at IBM and commercial real estate. And I thought initially that a networking program was kind of for the girls to do their cuts and their lipstick. But the more I studied it, and I saw state folks that had become wealthy, you know, making three, four hundred thousand a month, I began to pay attention. And here's the way they did it, the way we do it, the way you should do it. This is what you need to subscribe to. And what you want to do is you want to grow an ever-expanding network of other networkers who are expanding out. Because what you're doing is, yes, you're selling a little bit of product multiplied by other distributors doing the same thing. But in the meantime, either you're gaining talent from other people. For instance, you may touch a fellow, someone's brother, who's a chiropractor, and all of a sudden he's opened up his whole practice and they're using the product. Or maybe it's a personal.
personal trainer, or maybe it's a golf coach, or a high school coach. All of a sudden, you're tapping into markets. Like, we got very fortunate. We tapped into the Dallas Cowboys from a friend to a friend. And Jay Saldi, who's retired, well, he sold $10,000 of product to Texas Tech, 10000 to Baylor. Now, trust me, I don't have a clue how you do that. But Jay walked in with a Dallas Cowboys Super Bowl ring, and his son goes to school there. So it was no, well, we got the credit for $20,000 of product sales. That's leverage. The other thing that's very important is that your level of leveraging into geography. Someone that you may talk to, your neighbor, they may have a friend in Colorado or who has a friend in Chicago who's got a friend in the U.K. Well, as those dots connect and as product moves, there's no cutoff. This is not a multi-level pay plan. You get paid on all of that volume as those dots continue to connect, as it grows deeper and deeper and deeper, grabbing market share, tapping into talent, tapping into people's natural database of where the product will go. And the way you're paid is you have two teams. You have a team on your left and a team on your right. And those are defined by the first two distributors or the distributors you bring on board. The first four will go straight down one side. Let's say that's your left side. So you have Tom, and at a time you put Dick and Harry and Sally. Four straight down. Why? But they're going to duplicate. And they're going to put their four, first four distributors down. So now your four, who each have four, has grown to 18, who each have four, has grown to over 50, who each have four has grown over 200. That's the way you get the geometry of your four, each dropping their four right straight down. That creates a distribution channel known as a power leg, because it has its own energy of everybody duplicating. Then you add your fifth distributor to your balancing power leg, which is on your other side. If you look at it as an organization chart, you've got a group on the left and a group on the right. Same formula, first four go down, and each of those four put four down. Now you've got two power legs that are growing, whether you wake up in the morning or not. And every Sunday night, the computer takes a snapshot of all of the volume in those two legs. And whichever leg has the lesser volume, and it could be the left one, one week, the right another week, doesn't matter. Whichever has the lesser volume, you get 15% of all of that group volume. And I say group volume because you may not have sold anything, but maybe you had 40, 50 people powering down one side, and it was $10,000 in volume. Well, congratulations. Let's say the other side was 20. 10 is less than 20, so you made 15% of 10,000. Congratulations, you made a check for $1,500. Now, the only footnote to that is that the number that you're paid on in that lesser leg, you have to have twice the volume in the other leg. To give an example, let's say you're getting that four or four or four, you're getting that energy just cascading down into other states, other countries, other markets, other towns. And let's say that the next week, you've got 20,000 on one side and 30,000 on the other. Well, the rule says you get paid 15% of the lesser leg, so that would be the lesser leg is 20 compared to 30. But 30 is twice as big as 15. So you're going to get paid not on the 20, but on only the 15,000, and 15% is $2,250 for the week. The extra five, you know, you actually had 20,000, but you got paid on 15, because that's the number, that the 30 in the strong leg is twice, or is half of, the extra five just simply rolls down and you get paid on that the next day period. You don't lose any sales, they just keep they just keep working their way down to the next pay period. Now the second way you get paid is matching our, our matching bonuses. And these go three generations. So everybody who you personally sponsor, you're gonna get a 25% match of their check. Well, we know that you sponsor both people on your left and your right. And on the right, you had a leg of 20000 in volume. So that those people over there, maybe they made $1,000 for the week. You made $250 times however many you put the sponsor, which is 25% match of their checks. And that happens in both legs. But that matching bonuses goes three generations. So it's not only the people who you sponsor, but the people who they sponsor, then the people who they sponsor. So it's like your children, first generation, your children's children, second generation, and your children's children's children are your third generation. And they can just fill anywhere. Maybe they fell 30, 40, 50, 500 levels down, either left or right, doesn't matter. 
it's still first generation to you. So they can be spotted all through your distribution channel. For instance, let's say a friend comes on board, you get a matching bonus. Sponsors your brother in Denver, you get a matching bonus on the brother in Denver who has a friend in Chicago. Well, not only are you getting all the aggregate volume, but you're getting a matching bonus from three different major geographical areas. Very important because you don't have to go there. You don't have to have employees, no overhead, no expense. You just let the product flow and you get passive residual income. That's why I love networking. And that is the magic that you, that you have. Now, obviously, you know, you want to become involved and you can join anywhere from $100 to $500. You definitely want to be, though, at a goal, which is the higher the $500 level. For a couple of very, very basic reasons, you have to be a goal to go three levels in that. So you want to be there or you're just leaving money on the table. It also raises the cap on your income from $20,000 a month to $100,000 a month. Now, it's a lot of money. And as a disclaimer, you know, it's obviously people who work very hard. They spend time building, working their people, mentoring, training. And if you're willing to just have fun and help other people make money, you'll hit it. Because remember, these legs begin to grow on their own. You can't stop them. They just actually get on runaway because of the duplication process I described. But if you're not, if you're at a bronze, which is a $100 level, that caps to $20,000. The gold, it's 100000 a month. Five times the earnings without any more work because they're just going to continue to cascade. Plus, you have plenty of product to work with. You're going to end up with seven one-month supplies at the gold level. You need product to sell, to demo, to use, to have other people you care about use. So you have a little bit more inventory in your wagon. It's more than that now. You're able to sell a little product, use it for demo. Maybe you got a friend in another area you'd like to send them a couple times. You want to do that because that's the way to really grow the business. And then you'll learn when you get on a quick start training how you want to do a strength test. So we'll give you a couple of phone numbers that will tie you into some resources that will help. But what I want to do is open the lines up. We've got a good group on the line tonight. And if it's not too noisy, maybe you've got some questions and fire away. Maybe we can get an answer. Presentation mode is now disabled. Any, any questions on, on point with what we talked about tonight? Well, good. Either we did a pretty good job explaining or you're completely baffled one or the other. But I think that, uh, that the, you probably uh, caught on and see where we're going, certainly with the product and the company. Uh, any questions? Chuck? Yes. Good evening. This is Leo in Orlando. Yes. Yes, I... I believe I asked about the uh, PowerPoint presentation, but it was I emailed that person who introduced me to the company. Yeah. But um, I don't know if he knows you to notify you, but you can send me that. Or, I mean, I'm yeah, going to sign I up would, on day yeah, anyway. I'd, be, I'd be happy to do it just so it's a courtesy on these open calls. Right. We just don't want people giving out emails. So, I'm sure that your sponsor, your sponsor, sponsor will know. I'm on the advisory okay. board, so I, you'll, you'll definitely get a get a response, and I'll fire sure. right off to you. Great, thank you. You bet. Any other questions? Okay, well, great. I want to give you a couple of resources. Presentation um, mode is now enabled. If you have these favorite pencil, these will really help. One is a voice box. It's there 24/7. You can, you know, get up some morning early, get a some orange juice, and just enjoy. Uh, taking some notes and, and, and becoming an expert on the compensation plan. We went over it fairly, fairly quickly, but once you see the magic, you'll understand why we're seeing the significant earnings that we are. And that voice box, again, it's there. You can listen to it 24-7, take some notes. I'll repeat the number, but you might want to write this down because it's a very good resource. It's 212-990-6400. Again, 212-990-6400. Then there's a companion number, which is the same prefix, but it's 6186. So write down another number, 212-990-6186. Now, on that number, there's a, a Reader's Digest version of this call tonight. It's about four or five minutes. So if you've got someone who you'd like to have, just give a quick heads up on this. Just say, hey, I ran into something. Love to get your opinion. And let them listen to that 6186 number, because it'll give them a pretty good overview. Then the website, whoever invited you to the call, get their website. It's lifewave.com forward slash, and they have their own private website. And you want to get that, you can go in and download some pages. And really, excuse me, really 
you do your homework and uh, you'll find lots of information. You'll be amazed at the brand name of all the users coming on board, many world champions in different uh, venues. So it's, uh, it, it is. It's a great marketing tool and people were shocked to see what's happened just five months uh, with this company. So thank you everybody so much for being on the call. And that is a reminder, uh, Thursday night, we have a very, very, very large call with announcements. It's going to be a kind of a nationwide, international, all-hands call. So you definitely want to be on the call tomorrow night, but also Thursday night, 7.30, a lot of announcements. It'll be jammed. We'll have hundreds on that line, so get on early because it's going to be a powerful, lightweight call. Thanks, everybody, for being online, and we will talk to you tomorrow.